Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Now one of the most common questions I get is around envelopes and what I do for envelopes. So this is today's video. This is a really basic quick version of the three different types of envelopes that I make. Now I used to buy all these types of envelopes and I used to go through so many of them and honestly I found that I had so many pieces of kind of spare paper and 12 by 12 paper and all these things that needed used up so I ended up more leaning towards making my own and the one good thing about making my own is that if they have bulky elements on them or I've used a lot of dimension or foam tape then I can make them to suit that and that is what has worked best for me. Now I have this card here that I made using some scraps. I made this uh, a couple of videos ago on my channel and I'm going to use this card just to demonstrate uh, how I go about making them. So this card is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card and what I do for this first envelope is I double the width of the card so the width of the card is four and a quarter inches so this is eight and a half inches and i just put a wee mark in the middle that shows me the center now you don't have to do that at all it just helps me i turn it on a diagonal and i find i bend two corners towards each other and then i bend them down flat now I do very little measuring when I make my envelopes because I find that takes so much time. Uh, so in these there is very little measuring and I kind of just make it work for what I'm doing. But all I do is fold those two into the center and make sure that they are just overlapping ever so slightly. Then I fold the bottom one up so that it comes up just again slightly further than the first two that I folded in. Now I have turned this so it's kind of like in the diamond shape, that's how I started off. Then I put my card in to find where I need to fold the top. Now if I have a particularly bulky card I will leave a little bit more room but this just shows me where I need to make the top fold line. Now for this card I have used a pattern paper that has a pattern on the inside and um, kind of reddies, oranges, yellows on the other side. So I did draw in some black lines so that you guys were able to see where my fold lines were for this envelope. Now this, I don't do this, I don't put in the black lines at all, this just makes it easier for you guys to see. So all I do is cut out each one of those little corners there and you can kind of round them off nicely if you would like to. Then on the bottom piece, I cut it off straight and on the top flap, which will become the top flap, I round the corners off and kind of cut a little bit off as well. Again, you don't have to, this is just for finishing touches. Then to close it up and make it into an envelope, I'm just going to fold in the two side pieces and pop a little bit of double sided tape down each bit. You can definitely use a glue stick or any glue that you know is going to hold, any liquid glue. The reason that I tend to stay away from liquid glue is that I find if you have a thin paper that you're using it's likely to warp it. So I do find double sided tape is super easy, but that is our first envelope finished. So you can see that it is just nice and easy to pop the card in and out and mine does have a black line there where I um, wrote in the line so that you guys could see the score marks but obviously yours won't. So on to the next envelope and this is a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch paper that I have in the background and the inside pattern is going to be the inside of the envelope. I pop the card near the bottom and I fold directly down onto it. So this is what you end up with. Then once I have folded the bottom up, then I fold the top flap down. And again, you don't want to make this super tight against your card because you want to be able to get your card in and out easily without it getting stuck. Then I open everything back up, but I hold my card in place in the middle and I fold the two sides in. Now again, I don't want to fold them tight because I want to be able to get my card in and out nice and easily, but no measuring here. So it doesn't matter really what size piece of paper you start with because your folds on the side will just be larger or smaller or skinnier or wider. So it doesn't really matter. This kind of works for any size long piece of paper. And then again, I will go around and cut out all of the corner pieces and I just use my scissors. You could definitely use a paper trimmer or something if you wanted to get them nice and straight, but I find a nice long pair of the uh, Tim Holtz scissors works really well. 
and then on the flap that will become our top flap to close the envelope I round the corners it would be even better if you had a paper uh, like a corner rounder but I don't own one it is on my maybe to get list though I must admit and here you just want to make sure that you can slide the card in really nice and easily and then it's just a matter of doing the same thing by popping a little bit of double-sided tape on each one of those side flaps and again I just use one little strip down each side because I know that it is nice and strong and depending on the width of your paper that is how wide those flaps will be so whatever you've got room for take off the release paper and then all I do is fold the bottom part up onto itself onto those two sticky flaps and I just have a whole big pad of this paper it's from recollections I think it has maybe one or 200 pieces in it uh, and so I just keep going through it so it's got plain white on one side and then a gorgeous pattern on the other and that way the inside of my envelope is nice and patterned and the outside is nice and clear for me to write on or to stamp on or to decorate the only other thing I do do with this envelope you can see when the card goes in it kind of almost disappears there and this is one thing that I do to make it easier for the recipient to pull out the card I don't measure anything again <laughs> I just take a nice pair of scissors kind of curve in ever so slightly and then go straight across and then curve back up to meet the corner and then that way when the card goes in you'll be able to see that there's kind of a nice little bit that the recipient can kind of grab a hold of when they pull the card out so again I just think that is one of those finishing touches that makes the envelope then to close all of these envelopes I always just add a little bit of double sided tape along the top and then I just take off the release paper when I am ready to send it off. Now this is one for slimline cards. This slimline card I think measures three and a half by eight and a half inches. Again it doesn't matter what size your slimline card is. I have just got it on a piece of I think this is eight and a half by eleven or so uh, paper. I fold in both sides you do want to make sure that it can wrap around your card um, enough so that they just cross over but if it wraps around a little bit more and there's a little bit more crossover that works just fine as well and then holding the slimline card in place you don't want to move it around I just fold the top flap up and the bottom flap up and then again pretty much in all of these three cards that I've shown you you just cut out all of the corners and it's just a slightly different style of card when putting them together so this one here I'm going to round the top and the bottom and this is kind of quite an easy nice style for slimline cards and it means that I don't have to get a special 12 by 12 piece of paper or anything to create the envelope so I always make sure there's kind of one larger flap and then one smaller flap with the slimline ones and I like the smaller flap to be down the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit of double sided tape for this one there was a slightly smaller crossover so I've got a nice thin little piece of tape here and I will run it down the long edge and then I'll run it once across the bottom. Take the release paper off and then I'm going to fold the side flaps in first and then fold the bottom flap up on top of that and then we have our slimline envelope. Now I didn't have a slimline card to show you I'm sorry so that's why I'm just using a blank one today but you get the gist of how to make this envelope. Again measurements aren't really important and honestly I make so many of these now that I don't measure anything I just really can make them fast and that is what I am enjoying I'm enjoying using up what I have instead of having to go and buy really nice envelopes which I did for a lot of years and I still do keep a very small amount on hand but I find that I can make something just as nice and I can still decorate it and add stamping and add all of those things that I would do to normal envelopes um, whilst using up the stash that I had so I hope that these three designs have helped you out a little bit doesn't matter if you make a five by seven card or six by four or four and a quarter by five and a half inches there is something here for everyone and I will say also that I do have the one two three punch board from we are memory keepers and I do use it to make envelopes sometimes but honestly using one of these three designs has become my go-to let me know in the comment section down below if you prefer to make your own envelopes or if you just buy them in, which is awesome too, if that's what works for you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I really